Oh, we, we got some more goofies today. Love you forever, but sometimes we seem to disagree. Pray that you protect her and that grace my sympathy. I'm a mini you, one day I'll have a mini me. I'm your son, I shouldn't treat you like an enemy. I get annoyed when you point out all my enemies. We back, gang. I didn't forget about this series, I promise. Welcome back to The Art of Fumbler, where we point out some of the worst mistakes in anime history. We got five more bag fumblers, man. I'm excited for this one, because we got some grade A goofies on this one, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Let's get straight into it. But before we get into it, as always, hit the like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more anime-related videos just like this one. Fumbler number one. We started off strong here. Yugi Moto. Man, we started off strong here. That nigga Yugi tweaks so hard. So, if you never watch Yu-Gi-Oh! play the card game, you should know that there's a certain monster named Exodia, and you essentially win is if you get all five pieces of Exodia. There's no, there ain't no not so fast activate my trap card. Get your stupid ass out of here with that dumb ass shit spudging me, boy. So I believe that this is during the duel, before the Duelist Kingdom arc or during the Duelist Kingdom arc. And Yugi and Joey are riding on this boat over to the island, to Pegasus Island. This obviously shysty ass dude named Weevil Underwood. And yeah, he looks just like his name sounds. Comes over while they looking at their cards, looking at their decks and shit. So... Knowing that Yugi just has a la fuck you three that could just win him the game in his deck, he obviously wants to get rid of it, right? So with obvious malicious intent on his face, and I really mean, if you looked at him, like he was looking at that nigga like, I look at my box combo from Kane's, my nigga. He asked him, hey Yugi, can I get a closer look at the la fuck you three? And mind you, these are the anime Yu-Gi-Oh cards. These are not the real life cards. There's no effects text, and there's no like text really besides the attack and defense points. It's literally just a fat ass picture. So I don't know why anyone would need a closer look at these, but I don't know, maybe Weevil got some really bad vision problems. And that'll explain why he got them fat ass limited edition Millennium Landscrafters on his face. So Yugi overly nice ass says, sure buddy old pal. And Weevil just tosses them holes in the ocean. Joey jumps in and recovers two of the five pieces and the rest are gone forever, hell. He should have tossed them other two pieces down there. Maybe them two pieces could have linked up with the other three and Exodia could have saved that goddamn submarine. This pissed me off so much, man. Just because how stupid it was and how stupid and naive Yugi was, bro. That shit pissed me off. Formula number two. We go with Neji and Naruto. This definitely blew me because Neji was easily one of my favorite characters from OG Naruto. Bro, can somebody explain to me how a nigga with 99% total defense gets smoked by a damn toothpick? Dang. You're supposed to smoke the wood. The wood ain't supposed to smoke you, dude. You mean to tell me that you couldn't do a palm rotation to break it? And taking a step further, you mean to tell me that Naruto couldn't just use a substitution and just get out the way? Am I tweaking? I bet Naruto looked at that nigga with that splinter in his chest like, damn, gang. That was a shadow clone. Neji up in hell, mad as hell. I know that there's gonna be some people that'll that's gonna say like, Vaughn, it was an important plot decision to help bring Naruto and Hinata closer together. But to that I say, why the fuck does the last movie even exist in? This fumble might be the rightest because they made these, they made both of these niggas really dumb in this moment. I really did not appreciate how Neji died. Fumbling number three. Yeah, this ain't limited to just Candace, my nigga. The entire seven deadly sins anime. You knew this was coming eventually. This might be the biggest bag fumble in anime history, and it still hurts to talk about it to this day, because Seven Deadly Sins is one of my favorite anime in like season one through three. Studio Dean, boy. What the fuck happened in season four? Now, I'm genuinely asking, because this is an extremely painful watch. The wild thing is not just they fall, too. After the Studio Dean concluded the original anime, the niggas was like, yeah, 2D isn't our thing. And they jumped the 3D, and now that shit look like Ruby. And I don't think I need to elaborate any further on how bad Ruby looks. So let's just go to the next entry. Fumbler number four. Rudy is Quagmire, boy. I hate to do, I hate to do this to you, my boy. But damn, you leave me no choice. Gang, how you get the meetup? You, you wasn't even able to get your meetup, gangster. I am baffled. That is insanity. He straight up embarrasses himself in front of Sarah. And gang, I don't even want to make fun of him because this whole episode was just sad as hell. He fumbled again with that lady at that parlor. And then he said that shit when he was drunk and fumbled with Sarah again, bro. And just put the nail in the coffin. Mommy Taj said he couldn't even watch the whole episode because of the secondhand embarrassment. And I really don't blame him. And I'm still rooting for my nigga Quagmire too, fool. Don't trip because he on this list. He just had to be. 
And for our final one of the day, number five, Fumble number five, Goku, bro. Man, I love Goku. He is an extremely iconic character and will forever be admired by the anime community. Bro, even though he was right in the end, I still can't process. Why the fuck did he get that nigga sell a sizzle bean, folks? That shit still pisses me off to this day. Last thing I want to do is have a fair fight with a nigga who's been sitting in the middle of this ring waiting 10 business days to beat the shit out of us. Like, excuse me? If I was a Z fighter, I'm not gonna lie, I would've tried to jump Goku ass. Cause fuck whatever past we got, you obviously don't want me to see the future. If I was Gohan when I got Super Saiyan 2, I would've charged that cell like I was about to punch him and then flew past him and booked it to King Kai's funny and leaned Goku and shit with all my might. Plankton ass would've just had to wait for me to come back. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's enough. This is this is kinda pissing me off. That's enough. As always, man, have a great day, man. Love y'all. Peace. I shouldn't treat you like an enemy.